You have a great night. You too. All right. All right. So yeah, I just got here by this nice gentleman at Home Depot. Just made some good cuts for me. Um, I did uh, what, 61 inches, and um, that's the height of my shoulder. And uh, yeah, let's go get some a saw and something to drill some holes into these. We we'll back. All right, I got concrete. I got my wood. I got my buckets. Now I just need some nails. Let's get it. On the road again. All right, so we're back. Just made it back from uh, Home Depot. And I got two buckets, two bags of concrete, one saw, uh, two four by eights. I mean, two four by four wooden posts, eight feet long. I got it cut to my shoulder height, and that's about 61 inches. This is this is gonna be my squat. This is where I squat from. This is where I probably get them, do some shoulder raises from right here. All right, all right, all right. Now, I also got some uh, lag bolts, so I can connect those in there like that. Join those two together. All right. That's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start making these cuts. All right, so what I just did I is, I just made a 45 cut on both sides of this right here. This is gonna be where my rack sit, set, and rest right here. So I made one on that one and on this one. All right. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start the sawing on it. Hey, what's going on guys? Just want to let you know that I know what I'm doing and you don't have to worry about me cutting off my hand or my finger or anything like that. So everything's just going to be fine. Continue to enjoy this video and we'll see you at the end. We're finishing up, we're doing the lower half right now for like the shoulder strokes or the bench press. So, yep, this is the 45 degree angle. I already cut one on this, is my last one before I'm done. Got him. All right, guys, peace out. I'll see you whenever I get to the next step. All right, so now I've got both ends the way I want them. I also got this at a 45 degrees. I 
I got them lined up. Now, my next thing I'm gonna do is, I got these lag bolts. I'm gonna put two at the bottom. Two at the top. Uh-oh, I think he just, I might be missing one. Oh, I'm missing one. It might be in the truck, hold on. Gotta be in the truck. Yep, in the truck. All right, so yeah. It's a full moon tonight, baby. You gotta be careful on them full moon. It's the weekend too. Stay your ass at home. But anyway, yeah, like I was saying, two lag boats, top and the bottom. All right, let's go ahead and get started. bags of concrete and um two buckets i got the quick crete um concrete mix at high strength um 60 pound bags i think that was like three dollars and something and um we're gonna go ahead and pour that inside all right guys this is the concrete getting poured into the buckets all right i want you to carefully open the bag safely pour it into the bucket now, after you get done doing that, go ahead and place your four by four inside the other bucket and finish that bag off and pour it in there. Now, carefully pour the rest of the concrete in there and make both sure gotta, sides. Make sure you got a level on hand because you want to make sure this is uh, perfectly lined up where it doesn't tilt over. So go ahead and do it. Okay, now once you poured your concrete in there, go ahead and fill it up with water. You should start to see it bubble up and start to fill gradually. All right, guys, so this is it, final result. Uh, right now, I just put a little extra water in there so I can just make sure that every crack and crevices get filled up. This is it, guys. Squat rack, bench. Shoulder stroke, whatever you want to do. It's your boy. I'm signing out. Good night.